Today, we will indeed be building a full beacon out of wood. Now, unfortunately, Minecraft did not receive a new update allowing you to build a full beacon out of wooden blocks. But don't worry, got a few tricks up my sleeve to get around that. Well, first off, we're gonna need about three stacks of logs here uh, just to figure out where we want to put this beacon because in this hardcore world, I still don't even have a beacon yet. And I think for the time being, I could put it on top of my house way over there, but I feel like this open area just has a lot of space and it just kind of i don't know right here feels like a really great spot so we're gonna put the middle block right here and just for ocd purposes get these filled out and although i wish we could just leave the beacon exactly like this the beacon set up and just plop a good old beacon right here unfortunately we can't however if we grab some more spruce logs from our chests and we head over to our little villager cave grab some stuff Sticks. You'll see one stick, one emerald. Uh, yeah. Well, listen, I know this method of getting emeralds has been around for quite some time now, but I thought constructing a beacon only using emeralds coming from wood would be pretty fun. Hence, building a beacon just using wood. Now, there are some more villagers back here that we started zombifying and we never ended up finish zombifying. We've got some extra gold. I think we have, we have a ton of gold back at the base. All I need is some apples, uh, some extra splash potions, and we should be able to get three more Fletcher villagers out here in these areas. And then we should be doubling our rates at this rate, uh, it'll take quite a while uh, because they only restock a few times a day. And so really at best, you're only gonna be able to get around two stacks of emeralds a day from these guys, which if we look at a block of emerald, yeah, that'll take around 10 Minecraft days. And I don't wanna wait 10 Minecraft days. So we're gonna go grab some supplies, zombify some more villagers. And uh, we're also gonna try to spruce up this area a bit because it looks, I mean, there's just gravel on the ground. Like, why is there still gravel here? All right, you know I'm down bad for gunpowder when it's nighttime i'm sitting here farming creepers with a looting not even looting three looting two sword like don't i have a i'm pretty sure i have a villager that gives looting three enchantments how am i this down bad i mean i got eight gunpowder which is actually awesome <laughs> i really needed that but yes creeper farm coming soon like very soon all right got a bunch of splash potion weaknesses i think this should be good enough to get us all the way there we got some okay i don't know why i didn't smell the gold and some apples need to wait need a ton more apples but uh I think we can send this fella on his way. Oh, wait. I made way too many of these. That's all right. We'll get the job done. Oh, so this is just a visual representation. Uh, I'm going to start actually placing emerald blocks now, if that's fine. All right. 10 blocks of wood converted to 10 blocks of diamond. Sounds like a fair trade to me. Let's keep her going. All right. Another three set of villagers getting zombified. They were just at 21 sticks per emerald. So I think they go down to 14. Then they go down to seven. Then they go down to one. So I think we have three more sessions, which means... I need to grab myself nine more apples. And then, after nine apples, we decorate this room so it look, can look nice and spiffy. And also, I forgot to trade during that night session, that day cycle. Oops. Let's triple check our logic. Yep, 14 emeralds. So, or 14 six. Don't worry. We got the trading done early so we can put down a uh, few more blocks. And if you guys are wondering how I'm just getting apples for this, just you know, spawning in a bunch of oak trees is pretty much the only way to get apples. Surprisingly, there isn't any sort of like apple farm in Minecraft. So it's one of the only manual required farms pretty much left in the game where if you want an item, you gotta go out and just sit there and grind it. Wait, I think you actually can trade with it for villagers. You can actually use a farming villager or farmer villager and do it that way. Wait, I just spawned in a beehive. That's actually sick. Yo, I can't destroy that my bad my bad beehive I'll, I'll, I'll keep you there all right just added 60 more blocks and it doesn't it doesn't look like it at all i know it doesn't but trust me i did all right i'm gonna be totally honest these guys just came in at a smooth two sticks per emerald trade value that's a hard offer to decline i mean listen a sack of sticks gives me 32 emeralds it's an incredibly valid trade to say the least but listen i only take the best of the best
And now I, I do it. I gotta go. I gotta go make a composter. And how do I even get the trade for apples? I don't even, I don't even know. That's insane. One emerald for an apple. That's all I, I just had to do like five wheat trades to level up this farmer. And now I have apples for life, apparently. And by the way, I just, <laughs> I just chuck this, this composter in the middle. So this random farmer Bob Joe guy got assigned and that's insane. So now I've got, yeah, enough apples to, yeah, I'm just gonna eat a few. Why not? We only need three. I'll eat two. Why not? All right. I'll catch you guys later. I, I still gotta fill this up with these villagers, man. I have so many projects that are like half completed. It's insane. All right. We got them all in boats. Now let's just plop them in there. Respect respectful slots in the wall and we'll be good. Alrighty, with everyone in place, let's go ahead and get this, uh, get this room spruced up. Whoa, how is, how did a zombie, bro, you're literally, you're making this up. I guess I can just cure him, but I need, okay, well, I gotta cure him fast and I need like a bow and arrow. How? That zombie spawned in there. He spawned spawned inside of that little hole. What? Emergency apples, go. No, I don't, have, I don't have enough gold on me. Oh, I gotta fly over, I gotta fly over. If I don't go fast enough, they'll literally despawn and I'll lose all my progress for this guy. There should be gold in here. I was right. Okay, you're healed. But now before he heals, I need to bow and arrow that zombie or somehow like skillfully, like can I just chop away? Oh. We're chilling. We're chilling. Just don't move, zombie villager. Don't move. Yes. Oh my gosh. How though? Do I need to put a torch in there for all these guys? Maybe because there wasn't a torch like close to him, bro. <laughs> That's like a one in a five bajillion. Oh my goodness. All right, well, at least these guys are uh, fully up and working. <laughs> that's that's a bright side. And then, well, he's been like triple zombified, so I really hope he's working. Oh, this guy's back. Let's check on him. Is he good? Hey, he's good. <laughs> oh, he scared me for a second. All right, now, while I know this doesn't look like it's a much of an upgrade, it is. Well, obviously, the floor was spruce, and I like, I mean, we are in the side of a mountain, you know, for crying out loud. We literally are just in the side of a mountain. So I, I, I like the feel that we, you know, we, we keep the stone, incorporated some stone stairs to get a bit, uh, give it a bit more depth. There's not much you can do about the dirt back here. I guess I could dig it out and replace it, but I, I don't really want to mess too much with what's going on over here just because I don't want to hit a villager, make him mad, and then uh, end up making his prices go all the way up. But we've got six one stick, two emerald villagers. We've got a beacon that needs finishing, so there's only one thing left to do. Let's get some emeralds. A little fun fact, if you guys know, is villagers can't actually restock during uh, the night cycle. So if you guys are ever doing something similar where you're just trading with villagers a bunch, make sure as soon as it turns to night that you find yourself a bed, hop in it so that it obviously turns to day and you can get right back to trading. Well, it happened again somehow. And I guess, well, I did forget to light this area up, which is that's valid, but I don't really know how a zombie got in here and then is just like instantly gone. Good thing I got the apples though, bro. How does, what is this, that, why? Oh, that's nice. I still get to keep my villagers. Honestly, man, they should zombify this guy. He's not even zombified at all. That's the guy they should be zombifying. All right, well, the second layer is complete and we're now on to the third, which means we've just did around 25 more blocks, which is maybe a day or two of Minecraft time. And we'll have a full emerald beacon. And finally, I, okay, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. It was a little bit more than three stacks of wood. Like I originally planned, probably more like 10, 12 stacks. And some of those villagers up there, they got little fizzies. They started asking for more six and I could deliver, but we did it. We ended up getting a full nine by nine beacon, which goes up to three by three, but we don't have a beacon. Uh, what we do have though is two wither skeleton skulls, meaning we just need one more of these bad boys, make the wither, 
kill it, make a beacon, and we have completed the process. So you guys know what that means. There's one final to do on the list, and that is get this skull. And I just, I got these two, by the way, by just playing the game, not even necessarily going for them. So let's see, wait, do I even have a looting three villager? Because I swear I do, and I'm also broke. I swear one of these guys was a looting, looting villager. Oh, sharpness. I also, I need, I was about to say, I really need to make a crazy, crazy sword. Wait, looting. We need looting, right? Yeah. Just making sure. Been a long day, all right? 26 emeralds is all we got. Sharpness looting. Think we're going to just chuck the looting on this sword. And there we have it. Huh. I probably should have fire res on me, but that's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. We just need one skull. It can't be that bad. Oh, wait. I should definitely put this on. There we go. All right, come on. Here we go. First, first one. Let's do it. Just first with a skeleton we see. Imagine. <laughs> that would have been sick. Okay, what are you doing, Bo? No, get back. You're, you're done. You're done. All right, what about you? If you guys don't know, basically, you have around a 5% chance with looting three to get... Okay, I thought I dodged that, but I thought I was Keanu Reeves the Matrix, that guy. Definitely did not. So, with looting three, with, without looting three, you got like a 2% chance or something really low. But with looting three, it, it, it's more or less like a 5% chance. So, that's how I think about it. Bro, there's just an absurd amount of blazes out right now. Please, the sooner I get this head, the sooner I can feel like I'm not gonna die and lose my world right now. Wait, let me check my stats. I've, wait, I've only killed 37 with the skeletons? Oh my god, I've actually been crazy lucky. I mean, I guess that's good, but probably means it's gonna take a a lot of wither skeletons for me to, to get this next skull, which is not good. All right, well, now we've killed 50 wither skeletons. Still no skull. We've probably killed just 20 being out here now and nothing, which is which is mathematically where we should be just about to get a, uh, to get a skull. So I'm not happy. Where's the skull? All right, if one of these guys is not, dude, there's like five. That's a 25% chance of getting ahead. And I'm getting shot at from the back. And that's not ahead. And you're about to fall off. Oh, that's ahead. That's it. We're good. Yo, let's get two. Let's get another one. I don't care. I was about to say, if one of these guys doesn't give me a head, straight rigged. Rigged a Roni. Screw Rice a Roni. Rigged a Roni. Let's get a second one. Second one for the memes. And I'm gonna. Oh, okay. Uh, never mind. Let's just let's just say he had a head. Who's gonna give me a head for the memes, for the jokes? All right, let's go, uh, let's make sure we have some soul. I think it's soul sand, not soul soil. The stuff that makes you slow. All right, I think we got everything. Three heads, four soul sands, obsidian, because I think I have to make a nether portal in the nether that links up to the one I made uh, in the end room. So this nether portal should link us up right into our end room if I did my calculations and our math correctly because it looks like i never i made a portal in the in room and i never went through it uh so this is in a really weird spot i'll make like a bridge or something connecting this to make it safer sometime in the future maybe probably not nah, i probably will all right but here we are yeah so i made this nether portal that's why it's a three by three and i just never went through it so that's why i just make a new one uh but this is my end room yes we are here if you're wondering why we're in the end to kill the wither well it's because uh, i'm kind of a wimp now, you guys are probably very familiar with this room uh, it's, or this contraption. You build a little four block obsidian stand in which you place soul sand on top of uh, to spawn the wither in in the end. I have done this literally over a hundred times now, believe it or not, because listen, I, I don't have the time to go sit around chasing the wither. He's gonna destroy a bunch of stuff in the overworld. Or in the end, you can just, you know, do the same thing. Flying around, killing me, killing other people, especially in my uh, hardcore world. If I die killing a wither or trying to kill the wither in this world, I'd be furious at myself. So we're not gonna let that happen. We are going to spawn this guy in. His, he basically, his little head gets stuck right here in this bedrock because obviously you can't escape from bedrock. So he just spawns in, does a little bit of damage. And then he just makes a ton of noise. And you can hit him. He stays stuck in here. Takes about 20 seconds per wither. You can even do a little credits if you time it just correctly. And it's awesome. There's a little nether star. Should be popping out at the bottom. Boom. There's the nether star. So what normally is a five-minute fight. You know, I've had wither fights take five minutes before. 
uh, not trapping them underground. It's 20 seconds. 20, 30 seconds. Boom, you're done. You get the nether star. Ultimately, that's what you want. You want the nether star. We have the nether star. So we're going to head back to the, uh, the base. And would you look at that? We can make ourselves a beacon. You know, we'll flex. We'll use a diamond. I mean, we have way too many diamonds to count. Trot on over to the beacon. Slap this bad boy down. And what do we want? Uh, we'll take a little region and um, speed. Or I guess, yeah, region speed. There we go. That is how you make a full beacon in Minecraft using nothing but sticks and a little bit of ingenuity with villagers. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.